Birds in just home situation. So this is the truly deviant nature of dolphins. What's your question, Jurafik? Is this Halloween special? Today is Halloween, so it must be. I don't know. Uh, so I guess he's gonna scare us with dolphin facts. And we, I know uh, the dolphins can be really messed up. Let's just say, uh, is that what this video is gonna be about? Hmm. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've seen few casualty videos where dolphins do certain things, unspeakable things, to other other animals and other sea lives and things like that. So I'm, I'm sure that's what's gonna be this about. I don't know if I've seen like a dolphin specific video. But then again, his specific uh, things started kind of recently compared to all the videos he's made in the past. In the past, he was just like throw around a lot of facts and multiple videos in one compilation. But recently, past year or so, he started doing this like whole like a uh, documentary style one topic thing. So this, I'm gonna guess this is proper dolphin video. Uh, first of it, I don't know from him, but yeah, let's watch one. That may be considered disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. It's been a long time coming. It's been three years since my last dolphin video, which means three Halloweens have gone by with this aquatic thug wiener going unchecked. Not this time. This satanic smiling sausage, Davy Jones delinquent offspring, this audacious ocean hippo, ho oh, oh, ho, we'll get to that. The dolphin is a breathing, breaching hate boner, and their psychopathic tendencies come from their intelligence. Dolphins are arguably the smartest things alive without thumbs or launch codes, which allows them to manipulate the world around them, including the animals in it. Dolphins will reportedly- Wait a minute, so they are smarter than the elephants? Uh, they are smarter than orcas? They are smarter than the octopus? These are the smartest beings close to humans that I can think of. Dolphins, orcas, elephants, uh, octopuses. But dolphins are the closest thing to us, is that it? That's insane. They harass pufferfish into releasing poison, which apparently they get obliterated off of, resulting in a literal nightmare rotation. It isn't scientifically proven that dolphins get elevated and hella faded off a spicy stress ball. The alternative is the jots of the sea playing handball with the living puffer, and that's probably the most child-friendly form of dolphin recreation. I'm gonna have to get real creative with the way I describe this, but... Dolphins will stick their little dolphin dorks wherever they desire, including the disembodied heads of decapitated fish. Which might have just been a one-off if researchers didn't also witness a bottlenose wrap live wriggling eels around their stick shift. We've also witnessed two river dolphins treating an anaconda like a pool noodle, except the photographer took a closer look and noticed something. The snake was likely dead, like in a reptile dysfunction, which only one of them would know about since both dolphins privates were standing very much at attention. Workers at the Dolphin Research Center also got a nasty surprise when they discovered baby nurse sharks finding their way into the lagoon and the waterlogged hot dogs using them as volleyballs. Dolphins might be the only animals to use other living animals as tools, with a group of dolphins discovering that they could use live sponges as snout guards as they scrape the sea floor. It's not proven sponges can feel pain, but it makes no difference to these brine bullies. If a dolphin can use another creature as a pawn, it will. That's how one dolphin created a whole seagull murder ring just for some extra fish. Basically, Kelly the dolphin had an unspoken agreement with her trainer where she'd get rewarded with fish every time she helped clean litter from her tank, including expired seagulls. So Kelly would hide a fish during feeding and then use it to bait seagulls when no one was looking, only to snatch them, drown them, and exchange the waterboarded bird for more fish. Not only that, but Kelly taught her daughter the same trick, ensuring I mean, uh, that dolphin just probably thought that these creatures, humans, just want dead seagulls. Uh, they, they, they probably like oh we are cleaning out and like removing dead seagulls i don't think they understood that right dolphin didn't understood that and they just like oh dead seagull equals food so they just want dead seagull these humans are fucked up let's kill seagulls i guess the communication error it, it feels like more than anything the seagull side circle goes on at least another generation. Another time a dolphin's brain was someone else's downfall was down in the Gulf of Mexico, where biologists stumbled across hundreds of decapitated catfish bobbing around the water. Not only that, the eyes and the fins were still moving, and the fish heads made this disturbing grunting sound when brought on the boat. The cause was, catfish have several serrated spines for self-defense, and a gang of Gulf bottlenose dolphins apparently realized they could nerf the catfish by surgically beheading them. But so far, we've seen dolphins working harder, not smarter, with 
with seagulls, sponges, and catfish all being collateral damage. That doesn't explain dolphins being a jihad to other animals unprovoked. Dolphins in Belize have been attacking and even life depriving baby manatees. They've even gone as far as separating manatee calves from their mothers to make an attempt on their life. This is the same animal that finessed its way on an alligator's whitelist, getting folded by a pack of flippers. Dolphins are literally if hippos went the Professor X route, lost their legs but gained hyper intelligence. Which isn't a joke since the closest living relative to whales and dolphins are hippos. But the animal that gets it the absolute worst from dolphins? are the ones that look the most like them. Dolphins have a homicidal obsession with porpoises, with cases of them washing ashore with bite marks and broken bones. It's like they can't help themselves for real, it doesn't matter what they're doing, put a porpoise in their presence and it's like the Powerpuff Girls going Gotham City on a green monkey. In 2016, one lone male bottlenose flatlined at least six porpoises and the injuries were roughly the same. Fatal hemorrhages, broken bones, and lacerated lungs. No one knows for sure why dolphins are porpoisely committing acts of war, but the best guess involves how dolphins behave with each other. Because if you thought they were better to their own... Yeah, I was about to say, it could be very tribalistic, right? Uh, with each other. Uh, survival of the strongest mentality. If they look like them, close to them, and they know that they're weaker because they're not dolphins, right? So they, they basically take it out on them because, of the, like, because they're weaker, right? So they might be confusing that way. Like, this is not the same as us. It's different. That could be another reason. Like, okay, are you dolphin? But why are you so weak? And just like... Yeah, that's just fucked up. Kind, you don't understand the depravity of this malice-fueled middle finger. Dolphins regularly commit the act of infanticide, with males often harassing and separating the mother from her defenseless calf and escorting it off the census. It's a classic case of deleting the baby to have a shot at the now child-free mother. Plenty of animals like horses and hippos do this, but no animal takes baby abolishing as far as dolphins. There was a case where a mother orca and her adult son worked together to drown a baby killer whale also the son could sensually explore the mother that watched them do it. In 2020 in Mutsu Bay, Japan, researchers witnessed a gang of dolphins pull up on a mother and her calf and begin mauling the baby. What shocked them was suddenly the first group stopped harassing the dolphin calf, only for a second group to show up and go at him even harder. For well over an hour, 23 different dolphins got involved and a newbie dolphin was sent to the gulag after being hit over a hundred times. And knowing what we now know about dolphins, that might have just been business as usual. Dolphin society is like an episode of Oz, and like the show, it all starts with the men. When a male dolphin is young, they'll form a group with two or three others, and these will be the closest bonds these males will ever have, as these alliances can last decades. But it's not just kumbaya, the main reason for them linking up is these dolphins will kidnap lone females and keep them in custody for weeks, while they mate with her the entire time, consent sold separately. These dolphin gangs are highly possessive, and even have a specific pop sound to tell the female to swim closer, and she can get jumped for not complying. The females usually fight back, but only escape about 25% of the time. Not only that, but these water Weinsteins mate year round, meaning an unlucky female can get tagged by multiple gangs in one trip around the sun. Three dolphins acting as the musketeers. All right, this. I think about this a lot. Like, is morality just a human thing and is a mistake or something? What is it? Because look, when they're like, you know, taking, uh, taking it out of senses, you know, senses, like he said, basically uh, killing uh, the child or whatever, right? Uh, the whole thing about that, like, these animals are like, uh, you know, like, you know, like smart enough that it can, it realizes like un until I remove that. Yeah, I'm not going to have another chance with the mother or whatever, right? So they're smart enough to realize that. But they are somehow not smart enough to realize the morality of things, right? Same thing with the dolphins, right? Uh, three dolphins will pair up and basically force uh, the female counterpart. Uh, so every time you see these horror shows in Animal Kingdom, a lot of people say like, uh, you know, you shouldn't like compare this human element. I know that. I'm not comparing that. But I'm just, uh, I'm just psychologically analyzing it. Like, is morality a, a mistake or something? Because in the, in the wildlife, animals always resource, resort to most fucked up things, right? I don't know, it just surprises me all the time. Because is, is this the most uh, simplistic thing? Because morality takes effort. And like, uh, this is so, such a simplistic thing. Why would they take effort? Like, just let's find the closest thing we can do. Is that what it is? I don't know, like, psychologists and like people should really like analyze it. Why is this happening? 
Knights of Malice are known as a First Order Alliance. There's also a Second Order Alliance, with additional dolphins doing the dirty work for the group. Work including attacking other pods, stealing their females, while protecting their own from equally lust-crazed males. Basically, the First Order Alliance is like a basketball big three, with the Second Order being the role players. Of course, sometimes two Second Order Alliances join forces to create, yeah. A third order alliance. Not only does this mean dolphins have the largest non-human social network on the planet, they use it to operate like a pack of sea ditties. Penetration without permission is so rampant that female dolphins actually evolved the same equipment as ducks where they're uh, uh, yeah, those are maze-like to flush out any unwanted baby batter. But the male's response was dolphins developing a 12-inch pink prehensile bedroom arm. Speaking of which, male dolphins aren't even safe from each other. Non-allied males assert dominance by biting, jaw clapping, tail slapping, and mounting. The brokeback kind. Remember, it's Ocean Oz out here. To be fair, that's also how they play, and young male dolphins will actually practice on each other and take turns being the female long before they try it on a real one. And there's nothing wrong with that. Except dolphins have a nasty habit of projecting. I'm 99% sure the porpoisides and manatee maimings were because both animals looked like the babies of their own kind. Which is pretty insane logic, imagine someone on trial for running over the vertically deficient only for their main defense to be that they thought it was a child. Porpoises and sea blimps aren't the only ones catching strays. Since 2022, more than 45 people have been attacked while swimming in Fukui, Japan, leaving many with broken bones and bites. And it's believed these attacks were carried out by one male Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin. And it's been said the reason for this one man dolphin demon campaign? Horny. Scientists think this dolphin is sexually frustrated and lonely and is taking it out on the humans around him. And the scariest part? There's a good chance he's only playing. Because if a 9 foot, several hundred pound flesh missile wants you dead, you're simply dying. People say the rogue dolphin will often swim up to people and try to press his pink sword against them. Which is actually the same way dolphins in an alliance act, so he's really just acting out natural behaviors but on people, only to lash out when they don't respond. He's not the only one. As you know, I went to the Cayman Islands earlier this year and you'd think the most dangerous part would be me getting intimate with a stingray. It was actually me swimming in the same waters as Stinky. Stinky was a lone male dolphin infamous for trying to violate divers that meet his eye. One victim, Michael Mays, recounted how he and his wife were snorkeling and enjoying Grand Cayman when the menace named Stinky showed up. Michael tried warning his wife before Stinky charged her, slamming into her repeatedly. Someone should have warned Michael that he was what Stinky was after, as a dolphin attempted to dork Mike in front of his own wife. And you know dolphins don't discriminate with both Jessica Alba and Demi Moore seeing just what happens when a dolphin decides to go on booty warrior timing. In fact, one dolphin's impulses likely ruined a man's life. Alan Cooper was an animal rights activist who also became close with a dolphin named Freddy. Not that close. Who he actually met in the wild but was now living in Flamingo Land. Except one day, Alan swam with Freddy, and bystanders watched and swore that Alan was getting handsy with the dolphin, and he would end up getting accused of going Rocky Balboa on Little Freddy. Papers called him a dolphin diddler, and it went all the way to court. Whole time, all that really happened was, Freddy got a little too homosexual and wrapped his prehensile trouser tongue around Alan's arm. Even with the case thrown out, Freddy's freak-off was a stain that largely derailed Cooper's career, and killed almost any chance he'd ever have of being taken seriously. Yeah, there's a reason why legends say that Amazon River dolphins will shapeshift into men at night and impregnate young women before changing back in the morning. Dolphins are like the chimps of the sea, but where chimp society revolves around violence, dolphindom is centered around getting their rocks off. But dolphin- Okay, this is what I was saying when I, when the, you know, like I clicked on the video, the start of the video, right? Like, this is how it's gonna go, and I'm like, probably not, I'm just saying that as a joke, but this is how the video is fucking going. Is this what all dolphin attack is like, just like, uh, basically they go to door to door and like, tell people like what they are is that what it is like that that's the whole that, that type of criminal okay this this is gonna be the whole video. it's a half of the video but it's gonna be the whole video just just this uh attack but not the attack right? if you want to be attacked this is not the type of attack you want basically Dolphins can be just as dangerous as any wild animal. Pretty privilege makes you forget it's a hyper-intelligent, pack-hunting super predator that could fold you seven ways to Sunday if they wanted. And no dolphin showed that more than Chiao. Chiao was a male bottlenose dolphin that showed up in San Sebastião in Brazil in the mid-90s, where he was popular for his friendliness around humans, especially women, to the point where he started to see other male humans as a threat, and this time he wasn't playing. By December 1994, Chiao had sent nearly 30 people to the hospital, including one case where he attacked two men, breaking one's ribs and killing the other. So as you can see, dolphins commit atrocities against the world around them, against humanity as a whole, and even against their own kind. But do you know what actually makes them evil? 
It's not rhetorical. Because there isn't anything I've said about this womb fish that something in nature doesn't also do. Yeah, dolphins wake up feeling like Jordan. So do lions, hippos, and zebras. That's three quarters of the cast in Madagascar. Yeah, dolphins do the unspeakable with fish. Yeah, I mean, I was about to say there's too many animals that do that, right? Everything they, they he listed. Maybe not so much as like uh, predatory things that they do. Not, maybe not, not those, but other things, yeah. Uh, but uh, what surprises me is that usually any animal species don't look outside their species to do, thing, do these type of things. Dolphins are apparently smart enough that they don't care, right? They're gonna look at other species and like might as well. If not that, then they, I'm gonna do this. Like, so they're that level of smart. They can think beyond that. It's not like their genetics is just like driving them. They can think deep enough thoughts that they can like. If not my species, then the other species. I'm gonna do that to them or something. That's insane. But I've seen chimps get downright deplorable with a frog. Chimps will also murk rival children and then turn them into lunch meat. Yeah, dolphins are basically eternal erections, but. Penguins are so deviant, they traumatized a researcher. First seals have been seen defiling penguins, and speaking of seals, researchers have documented mateless male sea otters breaking baby seals with no approval. The point isn't to pass the buck to someone else's favorite animals, that these animals are just trying to survive. Dolphins are just that much better at it. If other animals could, they would. Hell, we can, and we have. Early cavemen also cannibalized human children, and meal prepping brains was somewhat regular. And before you judge otters and penguins, in 2022, four men were arrested for the crime of assaulting an endangered monitor lizard. And no amount of wordplay will let me talk about what people did to Pony the Orangutan. Just know, if I can't speak on it, it must be bad. I mean, if you believe in alternate realities and that art mirrors life... Do you... that specific uh, monkey? That's what you... somebody... Ah... When? When did we do that? Ah, somebody comment down what is the detail, like... I feel like I'm the guilty here because I'm human. That's just fucked up, man. <sighs> I mean, yeah, like I said, you, you can't really, like, look at these animals in human lens, like, how we sit here and think, how could they, they are animals. And yeah, we don't have such a great track record going back a long time, right? Doing this. We don't have great track record now with a lot of part of the world where people are doing ridiculous shit to animals already, right? I mean, we are not showing compassion at that level. I mean, come on, look at the stray dogs. We created dogs. There are no dogs in like food chain. There should be wolves only. We created dogs, and then when we're done with it, fuck you, and I just like walked away. Sure, there are lo lots of domesticated dogs, obviously, but there are lots of stray dogs as well. Like we don't even feel obligated to help stray dogs. Like this is this is because of us, right? And they're gonna fend for themselves, walking around in cities and towns where they can't even find that much food because it's cities and town, not a jungle where there's like food tree and everything. And people are like, oh, it's not my problem. Really, it's, it's humans. Most governments around the world should recognize that dogs are our problems because we literally created them. At least worry about that. So right now, like, even though we pretend to save certain species, this is all pretentious, right? Maybe it's better than nothing, but yeah. So we, we can't really judge any other animal because we are, we are still animal, let's just say. Then you also believe that somewhere in the universe, there's a dolphin with a snapback and a tiny mic talking about how humans are the spawn of Satan behind a green screen of this guy. Morality is really a social construct, and I think dolphins were just smart enough and just cute enough for us to move the goalposts and judge them by human standards. Then I think people be trying to correct all the shark slander, which is probably a crazy thing to hear from the same guy that made this. Here's my thing, everything I said dolphins do- I mean that is true, but in the end of the day, how species move forward, how- Next generation and children are like look at precious because they're supposed to move the species forward. Evolutionary speaking, children should be the one, regardless of the species, uh, should be the one that's protected, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? I get it. Some animal gets smart enough, like dolphins, who just see that have a complex thought that they see that as a like a roadblock, right? I understand that. But one thing is like common everywhere is like the, the, the whole thing revolves around like, you know, creating your next generation and basically walking away so species move forward. So at least evolutionary you think, regardless of moral, morality, evolutionary you think that at least children are the one who's protected that way. Our own children are cute and everything, so we take care of them. That's how evolution has made things. Even though we, have, we are like smart and complex enough now that regardless of what we should care for our kids, we even then like kids are supposed to be cute cute to us so we take care of them more so evolutionary should be like okay there should be some element that children are protected 
I think there might be some like uh, evolutionary uh, problem or like uh, deficiency. I don't know what to say in dolphins and certain animals like that, where other uh, you know dolphin a collective group sometimes just like you know like male dolphins like take it out of take them out of senses or whatever. Like he said, um, maybe that's how evolution works. There's gonna be some species who care a lot. Like we 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 know of like species the care for the group of children. Not even if some children is not there. Uh, maybe like uh, you know like sisters children or something they'll take care of that uh, and just take care of the whole community type of way there are animals like that dolphins probably opposite of that other animals who do the similar things are opposite of that I mean that's how evolution works but who knows true in this video is true at least to my knowledge but when I'm calling them a sea ditty or a water Weinstein or Satan's nine foot hate boner we call that a sentence enhancer especially when I'm calling something a homicidal threat to national security kind of a what you say not how you say it am I backpedaling uh, I don't think so. I mean, I, I mean, he sees it. He's entertaining. I mean, th there's never a point. I don't think there's e ever a time where Kesu Giraffic or anybody like him would judge an animal through human lenses. You can't see them as morality. How could they? You don't know what they think. You don't know how they live. You're a human. They're not. L never think like that. I think he's just making it more entertaining. I, mean, I love animals. I don't want you to watch my videos and go drop kick an otter or pray chimpanzees go extinct or hate dolphins. Hey, river otter, that river otter video. I, I'm pretty sure it's river otter, right? It's in my head now. Making that whatever the noise they make and just grouping on things. Chimpanzee video. Like I'm, I'm literally terrified of chimpanzee now. Before I was never that. Like, I'll kick a monkey if it comes to me. I don't care. I always thought that before I watched Kesu Joffy video. I'm like, oh fuck me. Is that chimpanzee here? I'm getting out of here. I don't even hate dolphins for real. There's also the whole overcorrection thing. I feel like there's two ways people see animals. There's the Disney side, the side that told people elephants think we're puppies, and the side that convinced Buddy this was a good idea. And then you got the side that would legitimately sleep. Bears are the most effed up thing. People told me like, I'll, I'll maintain like tigers are really powerful compared to lions, and I'll still maintain that. I don't care what you all what you all comment down. But somebody told me like there was a time where people were like Romans and people were like Roman times people were like you know like grouping up. And whenever anybody came against bears, it never ended well for anyone else, even the tiger, which feels weird to me, but I guess sure. Even the tiger should be more powerful than a bear, but I guess bear is just like mentally, physically, just the way they are, just the server they are from. Bears are too dangerous than anything else. That's really surprised me. Like bear are the ultimate like dangerous thing out there. So people going up in front of a bear without any fear, like, are you kidding me? sleep better at night if Thanos would have had beef with dolphins. The thing is, both sides can get the animal put on a shirt. Bad PR almost got sharks and wolves wiped out. At the same time, Freya the walrus had to get put down because people literally wouldn't stop getting too close to her. Because the worst thing a wild animal can do is forget its fear of humans. The part of Chiao's story I didn't tell you was the part where people kept harassing him, even trying to pour beer and stick ice cream cones down his blowhole before he started fighting back. What I think is for decades, people looked at dolphins with Disney glasses and sharks were the monster. I don't understand. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, this frat boy's mentality. Just like, are you pretending to be stupid just so you can have fun? Like, you can't be that stupid. What if somebody shoves something inside your nose or something? Like, you're gonna choke, right? Like, people don't realize they've been actually hurting these animals or they just don't care. Like, that's insane, man. And yeah, like getting friendly to humans is the most dangerous thing, like uh, butterfly effect, right? I don't know if it's butterfly effect or not, but yeah, I've seen stories of people actually like feeding some animal over and over again, then one day just stopping. That's the most fucked up thing you can do. Either like feed them or don't. Don't have middle ground because now they rely on you. Once they rely on you, then you stop, they're going to be confused on what to do. People feed pigeons and they suddenly then stop. Pigeons are fucked because they don't know what to do now, right? They're confused. Depending on time, like how long you've been doing, but yeah, same thing. So, yeah, humans are the most dangerous thing to any animals, obviously. Monsters, and overcompensation has it flipped, or really, neither animal belongs on either side. Elephants are my favorite animals, and they're probably the best example of this. In 2011, a herd of elephants showed up to their caretaker's home after he died, and held their own two-day vigil, and would return every year on the same day to mourn him. An elephant also traveled over 100 miles to flatline a 70-year-old woman only to desecrate her corpse at her funeral. This elephant was filmed trying to rescue a rhino stuck in a pit before lions could get to him. Elephants were also responsible for running through rhinos like a yellow light. Dolphins aren't evil prison bullies or innocent sea angels. They're just dolphins. 
But you know, maybe I haven't talked enough about the other, other side of dolphins. Like, you know dolphins have specific names for each other that they'll respond to? They also recognize each other by urine, so they really got a whole two-factor authentication. Pregnant dolphins will teach the unborn calf its name by singing it constantly, while it's still in the oven. Speaking of babies, newborn dolphins don't sleep. Yeah, Apple don't have shit on this. Like, we, we are the one who created, like, two-way authentication. Like, oh, oh, name alone isn't fine. Like, let me, let me get that. Sleep for the entire first month of their life which means neither do their mothers. Dolphins are highly emotional, and just like elephants, they also mourn the dead. One orca made headlines when she carried her lifeless calf on her nose for 17 days and over a thousand miles. And with orcas, they're one of the few animals on the planet to go through menopause, and the most likely reason is so elderly orcas can stop worrying about being mothers and instead focus on being grandmothers. That matriarch system is why dolphins, especially orcas, have not just their own cultures, but they even have trends, just like us. For example, in the 80s, one orca was seen carrying a dead salmon on her head for no reason but a fashion statement. And in less than two weeks, the orca influencer had not just her own pod, but two others doing it. Things like that are how orca OGs pass knowledge down. They even have their own way of disciplining children. Sometimes when dolphin calves wander- Orcas are really insane, man. Certain complex things they're doing is really terrifying in a way. They're really close to human in that way, but obviously they're in water. Imagine if they, they were like similar, they were similar creature at that level on ground. But then again, they wouldn't have because we would have killed it out long ago. So I guess it makes sense in the water there is this thing as orcas. I can imagine a similar being on, on like land animals similar that way. But we just made them extinct or something long ago. We just don't know about it. Like the caveman times or some shit. But yeah, orcas are really smart. Too far, the mother will toss the calf in the air as punishment. Repeatedly for up to 40 minutes straight. But considering wandering off can get the baby canceled by a pack of males, I see where she's coming from. But males aren't even that bad. Dolphins will often have their version of a midwife, a dolphin auntie that assists with birth and helps with the calf. And sometimes this dolphin auntie is actually a male. And of course you got stories of dolphins saving people from drowning and sharks, but one dolphin went way off script. In 2008, a mother pygmy sperm whale and her son got stranded, and rescuers spent more than an hour trying to return them to sea, and even considered putting both of them out of their misery. That was until popular bottlenose dolphin Moko appeared and led the trapped whales through a narrow channel back to sea, saving them both. A year later, Moko nearly drowned a woman he was playing with because he got too excited to let her return to shore and she almost got reverse baptized. You see that? Duality. So yeah, I don't hate dolphins, I don't hate any animal. I'm not fully bending the knee, I'ma still get my jokes off when I can. But moral of the story? Manatees are the most wholesome creatures alive, and last year one named Hugh passed tense after a bigger male confused him for a mate and literally ripped him a new one. The worst part? It was his brother. If they can do that, dolphins can't be that bad. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you drink water, hug your mother, don't hug a dolphin unless you're- Yeah, but it confused. It wasn't like malice right what is malice malice is intent isn't it so like dolphins have malice why not right uh, again like all they're guilty of having complex thought and like having more brain cells but not having enough brain cells to be us so they are like stuck between those like humans and like uh, somebody who's like uh, simplistic they're stuck between those like close to humans but still so they're not smart enough to be humans uh, so we can't really judge them for not having that kind of morality. Even the, while I speak, there are wars going on. So we, we ourselves don't give a shit about it that, at that level. So how are we going to expect the same from like dolphins and things, right? Wars are going on around the world. Missiles are dropping everywhere. Missile doesn't see where it's going to drop, right? There are like, you know, like many stories of Ukraine and like children's hospital, isn't that getting blown up. Thinking about it hurts my brain, so I just like tune out a lot of times because what the fuck am I supposed to think otherwise, right? I feel powerless a lot of those times. But yeah, we ourselves don't care that much. How the fuck would dolphin care, right? So it's just fucked up. Right, well, that was the truly deviant nature of dolphins. But I, guess, I, I like how he just explained the title says deviant nature. Yeah, it's, it's entertaining. He's trying to be entertaining, obviously. If you like my next channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.